Hello and happy Mother's Day from Fraylins and Friends. And I've been gone for a little bit, at least as far as uploading. But I have an explanation for that. But first, I want to show you what I got for Mother's Day. My husband got me this. <laughs> it's big. <laughs> but it's so cute. And... It says, you are always a beautiful mom inside and out. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> he always, he's always so much better at that stuff than I am. And he got me this shirt and a green one. Or kind of an aquamarine maybe. So I'm, I had a very nice Mother's Day. I entered this writing contest and I haven't done that one on a real big scale before in fact it had only been in small groups and I was pretty familiar with them but this one was so much fun and it was it's the NYC midnight 100 word fiction challenge <laughs> you only get 100 words to tell a complete story and that may sound real easy because it's only 100 words but believe me it's not that easy they gave me the genre the action and a word that I had to use in my story the genre I got was fairy tale and or fantasy the word or the action the action that I got was voting <laughs> and the word I got was sink so I had a lot of fun I retyped it several times I changed sentence structure several times finally I decided if I don't just decide that this you know if I don't just proofread it and make sure that I've got all the things done that it's a full story that has a beginning a middle and an end that it has a conflict and that it has a resolution and something to keep people interested for 100 words then I'm really just just goof it all up if I don't just pay attention to that and then get it turned in. So I did and I can't tell you anything about it until they re tell us that we can. I can't tell you the story. I can't tell you I can't even tell you any more than I already have until until they tell us that we can. And I think I I think whether it comes out to be one of the top 20 in this heat or phase then I sure hope it does if it doesn't well I had fun <laughs> and there's a lot of them in it as you look upon my shelves that had nothing to do with the topic at hand Joe did get me a new oximeter today I had one and as soon as all this started and they said get yourself an oximeter if you've got problems or whatever I couldn't find it. It was G-O-N-E gone. But he went and got me another one and I checked my I checked and I'm just fine. Except when I'm out of breath. Alright, to the next thing. From fiction and fantasy to fantasy art. <laughs> this is our giraffe, isn't he cute? Yeah, I kind of had his back in too long and the tail was like way out here. So I chopped that off and I made him a new back end. A little bit, a little bit more giraffe looking. I mean, as far as many giraffes go. As far as the neck, I'm not going to say how long it should have been, but we're going to make him look like a giraffe. And... I'm going to get to use some of my paints for the first time. 
the first thing I'm going to do oh, I suppose that's probably captain side yep So I'm going to, I'm not going to like paint him all yellow. He's already kind of a nice yellow orange. What I want to do now is I'm going to take this yellow and I'm going to try this, what they call dry brushing. Maybe I got it too dry. Just want to get those little rougher edges that stick up with it. So I really haven't painted him. I'm just kind of, I don't know, doesn't look like I did anything. <laughs> but he needs his spots and he needs his mane. So for that I'm going to use, because for one thing I'm shaky, I'm going to use this. Okay, here goes his mane. Just a little bit farther down. <coughs> okay. And now, <laughs> I hope you can see what I'm doing. Let's. I can't get the lighting a little better here. There we go. Come on now. Okay. Now the picture I was looking at, or the pictures I did look at, they had these brown tufts on the end of their tails, so that's why he's got one. He's not real well balanced yet. I'll just get those knobs a little bit brown. 
them. But they don't have to be completely brown, just kind of, sort of. Okay, there's our, there's our giraffe. And he is done. There. Okay. There he is. All spiffy and sort of giraffe like looking, about as much as the other <laughs> mini animal zoo are. Clean that one. I might need to clean this one. Well, that didn't make too big of a mess since I was able to use the paint that was already on the insides of the paint, the paint covers, paint bottle. I hope you like that guy. I sure do. Considering. I'm not exactly a professional at this steam, but I am learning bit by bit. <laughs> I got a little bit of a streak down his nose. That's okay. That's okay. Because I'm telling myself it's okay. <laughs> oh, dear heavens. I don't think the yellow did much as far as the trying to dry brush. Maybe because it just wasn't enough not enough of a different color but I still think he's I think he looks like a little bitty teeny, teeny weeny giraffe made out of clay <laughs> that's what I think so between our camel and our elephant and our owl and all of this stuff the penguin we're on our way to making a zoo. I just don't know exactly how I'm going to put it all together yet. <laughs> I've got this little board, but I don't know if it's big enough now. And I'll probably cover it with some scenic things. <laughs> That's just where we are right now. And I think they're awfully cute for, for what they are. I think they're awfully cute. So I hope you've all had a nice weekend. And I hope that you had a wonderful Mother's Day. And I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> I don't have any more writing contests right now. So I have to wait for this one. And then we'll see if I go any farther. But even like I said... Even if I don't, it's a, it was a lot of fun. Just trying. It's a challenge to get a full story in 100 words. <laughs> Believe me, it is. So, do, do smile and wave. And as they rela relax restrictions, make sure you know of the restrictions in the area where you are. And there's still re recommending the six feet apart rule please we've had a very fun just very relaxing day so we will see you tomorrow please be sure to subscribe click the notification bell and give us a thumbs up please do comment those comments are my best communication with you projects you'd like me to do or things like that. Good night.